Hey guys, SPC Safety Harbor 2335 along with. SPC Louisville 157, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yes, please do. Um, today we have this big giant box because I'm going to do, be doing an unboxing video. So let's get started because I have nothing else to do. I already have it partially unboxed because I have no clue how to unbox. Look it out. And so, get this box out of here. It is the Radio Shack 12 996. I bought this off of eBay. And yeah, it's a. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. So. And yes, I'm sh and yes, people, I'm shirtless. Well, you want to watch some old boy and do whatever I. <laughs> okay. So, shall I unbox oh, this thing? Shall I unbox this thing? Right? Jesus, things. Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright, and then once you get your 996, I shall unbox my 996. By the way, this radio costs more than my entire weather radio collection as of right now, combined. So. Sadly, I cannot show my face because YouTube will be like, you don't deserve that. It's like YouTube's calling you ugly. They know, and I hate them. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Let's get to unboxing this thing. Alright, right. right. I'm gonna aggressively unbox this because I have no life and I have nothing else to do, so uh, I need to unbox this on the side. I'm not sure if I'm unbox okay. I'm unboxing on the wrong side. <laughs> yes. Come to me. Jeez, I can already see this thing. Uh, I am weak. Okay, I already got it. Jesus, this thing is small. Oh my god. It's just smaller than I thought. Alright, guys. So here. Yeah, because like the, the camera displays it, it's a lot smaller. Okay, let's take it out. She is a beauty. Oh my god. Check this out, guys. It might look big, but this is the size of my hand. And yeah, yeah, and and how to and here's how to type like, and if you can't find it, you have to type in Radio Shack twelve zero zero nine nine six, and not just Radio Shack twelve nine nine six. This thing is a beauty. Oh my god, I am not sure how Radio Shack went out of business. This thing is. Awesome. It's the rarest radio shack radio out there, so congratulations. Yay. Uh, I'm going to just pause the video really quick because I'm going to get some batteries so I can power this thing up and set it up. So, see you guys later. Okay, guys, I am back with my four batteries because apparently I need four batteries. This thing is soft. Alrighty, let's get started. They made it easier. Oh, uh -huh, yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh, hi, Rammer. Okay, now Rammer's here. Okay. Number three. Last. Last battery. Last battery. We shall see this baby power up. Hopefully. No! There is. I got it powered up. My camera will focus. It is now powered up. I don't have a clue how to set this up, but I think you. Jeez. I'm gonna leave that open because I feel like it. Okay, so it's a touch screen. Oh, this feels so good. Menu. Yes. Does feel good. Okay. Time. 12 a.m. The current time is 12. 29, so. You know how to um, move it? Yep. By the way, uh, have you set it up? It should say set language. Yeah, should be English. 
Jeez. Did you hit English? Did you hit English? Yes, because I'm not French. Jesus. it is. Okay, I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna use a slide bar. <laughs> One second, I'm hiding. No, I'm not 1259! It's 1229! Jeez. My thumb is big, that's oh, probably. Is that hard to control? It is, yeah, it is pretty hard. 1230 now. Yeah. At least for Eastern. Why? Why? I want it 1230, not 1259. No, not 12. Oh my god, this is. Hard to set up. Why? Dude, dude, use your I did it. I did it. I did it. It's twelve thirty. It is twelve thirty p.m. Use your fingernails, dude. Use your Okay. Ah, okay. I have twelve thirty p.m. set up. Alarm no WX channel. Alert reminder. The radio will notify you if your signal is lost. Yes. Uh, turn that on. Okay. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea to have on. Signal reminder. Oh, uh, alert reminder. No. Warning option. Custom. Plus two in our sign. Oh my god. Okay, I need to use my finger for this. It's a little hard to control, so I'm gonna warn you on that. Yeah. Okay. Jeez, I thought this thing would be a lot bigger. That's fine. Oh my god, I can't scroll it up. I'm using. Okay, there we go. It's like a checklist. I like that. Jeez, this thing is hecking hard to control. Jeez. Evacuation watch, yes, want everything on. Dust storm, practice demo on. Why do they have some alerts off? I think everything should be on. Everything should be on. Yep. You never know what could happen. Yep. You never know what could happen. Yeah. For me, the only alert I keep off is one more because I only puts them out of between 12 and 7, and I'm not going to woke up. By the way, you better want to keep those flood warnings on. Yep. I get flood warnings everywhere, especially during rainstorms. Does Tampa tell me flood warnings? Yes, they do, actually. They do. Oh, great, because I might go back there. So. Really? Nice. Yes. I live in a coastal city. And then we both can, like, try to be see if we both can get Google Hangouts. I have Google Hangouts right now, because I'm an Android person. Why would required weekly test be off? Why would severe thunderstorm watch be off? Jeez. Turn that on. Yeah, I'm turning everything on. Oh, okay. wait. I'm going to warn you. Yeah? All the trans. No, I have warning only our default, because then that's going to set it completely. Yeah. Okay, I got, I got it. Alright, guys, I have it all on. This camera cannot focus on the screen. It just shows a white split. Anyways, okay. Exit. I said exit! I'm. Okay. Alright. Yeah. And, uh... Alert type. Wait, location. Oh wow, the person, dude, the person forgot to, um, reset their location, wow. No. Okay, we'll delete. Put all on all. And then you can put Tampa, Florida on one. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put it on all. No. There. No, I hit, jeez, this thing is really, really hard to control. Okay. One, okay. five. Add, add, all, okay, I have all on, alert type, alert reminder, no, 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 alert, 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 mode. Very well at all. alert mode is voice, alert reminder is not helpful, it just annoys the crap out of you, <laughs> yeah, just stands to repeat a bunch, <laughs> 
I finally ended up figuring out how to turn that off on the 2.5. Now for the official I had no idea how to turn it off. So. Yeah. Alrighty. We have the channel set. Alrighty, well. So, uh. Go to AM and FM. Yeah? And, uh. You can say your own presence. Oh, that's so cool. I'm just gonna show this to the camera, even though it can't focus it. Six presets? Uh, yeah. Okay. Six presets. I'm s Come on, 105.5, seriously. So, uh, how do you, uh, how do you set the preset? Hold on, what? It, do you hold down, like, the preset? Come on, 105.5, you have to work roll me that way. I will I listen to you every day and you do this to me. Speaker is actually really good though. <laughs> oh shoot, this better not be copyrighted, I just realized. Credit to Rick Astley, guys. It's not my song, obviously. I don't have an adult voice or anything. I am too young. Seek no. Oh. I don't know it has a teeny, teeny, teeny bit of slight risk. I'm, I'm under a yeah. marginal, I think. So, uh, how do you do the alert volume thingy? Because I don't have a clue. Alert volume? Uh, uh, when you go to WX and then just click on the broadcasting, and then just click on the screen while it's broadcasting. Hold on. WX. Hold on. Menu WX. Alert. Oh, Alert mode. The there we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's loud.
Yeah, that sounds good. There we go. Yeah, I know that the warning warning light down here. That's why I got scared by my WR120. I still have no clue how to. Okay. So. I believe that is it. I just don't know how to set presets, that's all. Wait a minute. Never mind. Okay, so I do not know how to set, uh, what you call it, uh, presets. Oh, one second, guys. I'm back. Uh, how do you have, uh, pre how do you set presets again? Because I have no clue. Oh, let me just. Alright, just click on present one. Just like tap it and then just like put the hold down on it. Like, you know, hold down on it. And then, and then select a station. Oh. Hold down on one and then it's gonna select. Yeah. Alright, so. So if I go to preset two. Yes, I did it. Hooray. I'm done with AMFM now. Okay. Alright. Now. But it feel like it's not done. Uh, Trump. that's it. Cause you already have alert mode, alert yeah. type, location, channel. Yeah, I have everything. So basically, you're not. You don't have anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I think I have it. I'll, uh, yeah. I'm just testing out the reception. Do excuse me, I'm gonna put I'm gonna go for the entire Okay. Alright. And now for the review. It's a touch it's the only touch screen radio in the world, I, th I would think. Because I I've right. never oh, well. Yeah, literally the only touch screen uh, radio it's in the, the world. Radio shack radio out there, and yes. It's and it's the most revolutionary radio out there. Yes. Very much so. Still has not been a touchscreen radio yet. <laughs> yeah, Midland will probably never do that because it's Midland. Yeah, it's Midland. They're made for classic radios like the 120G. They're made, they're made for the future. Radio Shark's made for the past. Yeah, yeah Radio Shark's went out of business, so you can't. They don't make for the radios no more. Yeah. So, Stuff. Yeah, almost all Radio Shack radios are gonna go out. Almost all Radio Shack radios are just gonna become. Yeah, all radio. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they are now making new Radio Shack radios that only have weather band. They don't have weather alerts yet. They might return, but I can't fully guarantee it. So yeah, this is uh, a new radio. I'm still collecting, yeah, guys, and I'm still collecting Radio Shack radios. Shoot. Yes, and so, uh, now for the review on this radio. I know this video is already 19 minutes long, but that's fine. You're not going to watch through all of it, and I don't care. I'm just doing it for no reason. So anyways, the review. It is the only touchscreen radio in the entire world. Uh, it's hard to control, which is fine, because you just have to use your fingers and not your thumbs, because my thumb is the size of the damn screen. And so, I would rate this thing an 11 out of 10. I know this thing, I know that it's not possible for an 11 out of 10, but I'm going to rate it like that because it's my rarest radio out of my entire collection. Finally! Finally, camera, you finally focus on the time. Oh, and now you don't do it. Shoot. Anyways, yes, I rate this an 11 out of 10. Awesome design. Speaker's great. So it feels like an actual radio. Feels like I just need to learn how to extend the antenna out, but I don't know how to do that, so. Anyways, guys.
Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to do a skit video on how to flex your 996 because it's so rare and revolutionary and stuff like that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe and goodbye. See you in the next one.